Hey guys, my name is Stephanie Vargas and I love makeup and I just wanted to start this YouTube channel to continue to stay in the makeup world. I used to work for MAC Cosmetics, but this is my way of staying in the makeup world. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. I already prepped my skin with the Alafia Shea Butter, Raw Shea Butter. This is my favorite moisturizer that I typically use at night. That's why my skin looks very... So I'm going to start off by doing my skin, just sp spraying a little bit of Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the sh scent coconut. Then I'm going to spray my skin with one of my favorite primers at the moment. It's called the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I do this before putting mascara because once I put mascara out, it'll make it like melt. I don't know, it's really weird. So I kind of just rub it in, like so. All right, and then I'm gonna start off with my brows. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal, what's this called? The Brow Stylist Sculptor in the color Brunette. And my favorite pencil is from NYX and from Anastasia. But I just finished those two, so I have to go get them. But I hate doing my brows but I typically like them thick because my brows are full and I do them really quickly. Like, I hate doing brows. Okay, that looks crazy. So I'm just taking like the e.l.f. $1 spoolie, which I love, and I kind of comb through, clean up my fingers. Now this is my everyday makeup, you know, like what I do. If I'm gonna go hang out, go somewhere. Whoa, that is crazy right there. So that's why, I mean, I'm really good at doing really fast makeup. So that's why I kind of just clean it up as I go on myself. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the color Chocolate, which is Another one of my favorite brow gels. A base to prepare my for my eyelids for my shadow. And I'm going to be using Max Painterly Paint Pot. Now, I don't really like this, but I'm using it because I have it and it's almost done. So, I just use a good amount and put it all over my eyes from my lashes to the brow so that way it's even and I'm using a Bare Minerals full coverage concealer brush it's a flat synthetic brush so it's nice to pack it on here and I'm just doing this very carelessly because shadow is going over it so so now I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush, which is one of my favorite MAC brushes. And then I think I'm going to take this Morphe shadow. It's called Cream Puff. It's just a cream color, maybe like Max Brulee or something. And then I'm just going to get enough. I like to get my brushes very dirty and kind of tap them off and then go in like that and I'm just gonna put some right underneath the brow I like to start my shadow from the brows down because it's a lot easier it's faster to blend and it just makes things go smoothly I don't know it's so much better for in my eyes excuse the sniffles I have allergies so I just go underneath and I go to town I just put a bunch it's kind of looking crazy because that painterly is very cool tone very pinky gray kind of color so but it'll be fine in a moment Anastasia Beverly Hills which have quickly become my favorite eyeshadows I'm going to use her orange soda which is a perfect peach color and I'm going to take
I'm going to take a Morphe M504, and this is going to go on my upper crease part. I'm going to start at the outer edge because wherever I place my brush is where most color gets deposited. And not only that, I'm going to tilt my head back and look down into a mirror so that way I can see all the space that I have to work with with my eyes open. So I'm going to start here. And as I blend, I go, I blend as I go. I rarely go back and blend, if that makes any sense. So I put the brush and I do little circles as I move. Sometimes it doesn't look like it just because I do it so fast. That is exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to... And this is going to go, you know, right against, for my eye shape, I have almond eyes. So I'm going to put it right against that bone. And just bring it all the way in. The more shadows you use, the more gradient effect and blended look you're going to have. And it's also nice to hold your brush at the closer to the end, you know, farther away from the hair. So that way you have more control and you move your wrist instead of your hand. So you don't get as tired. Morocco from the world, what is it called? Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is like pretty much Max Brown script, and it's a matte color, it's a terracotta color. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the same brush. And I'm just gonna lightly, not applying a lot of pressure, do the same thing. But this time I'm only gonna bring it in halfway. All right, perfect. Other side. Oh, that's another thing. Whatever you do to one side, you should really do it to the other side almost instantly because it's just that much easier to duplicate versus doing one eye first and then the other. It will be so much harder to get it even. I'm going to use Anastasia's Bellini, which is a peach, true peach, and it has like a frosty finish or a little bit of a sheen I would say. I'm using a MAC 220, no, 242 brush. It's a flat synthetic brush. Another one of my favorite must-have MAC brushes, which I don't really have many MAC favorite brushes or favorite MAC brushes. So what I'm going to do is with this flat brush, I'm going to press and kind of put pressure and that's how I'm going to deposit that shadow on um, my lid. So it's kind of like a press and wipe motion so you get that color off of the brush and onto the eyelid. See? And it does it just really quickly. Same thing here. It's such a really pretty peach color. Ugh. That palette from Anastasia is like, in my eyes, the perfect palette because you get neutrals, you get pops of colors, and you get black. Like, what more do you want? Her palettes are so perfect. I love them. Okay, so now where those two meet, I'm just going to take the same Morphe M504 and just lightly dust Nothing, no additional product on it. I'm just going to lightly buff out where, they two, where the two colors meet. And then I'm going to take the brush that comes in the Anastasia palette, which is a double-sided brush. This side right here, this side is very nice to apply eyeshadow or to buff out your lower lash line. And then a blending brush, which you could do everything with. You can blend and you can apply shadow with. It's really nice. So I'm going to take Fudge, which is a nice warm chocolate brown here, and it's a matte. I'm going to take some on that smaller side, and I'm just going to press and apply it in the outer corner and lightly into the V. Then with the other side, I'm going to buff it out.
Okay, so it should look something like that. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so it should look something like that. Take that Morocco shade with a more precise blending brush. I'm gonna take a Morphe M5, no, sorry, a Morphe M139, which is a blending brush, but it's very, it's tapered, but it goes, it's tapered at the very top and it's short. So it's a little bit more stiff. So I'm going to dip it into that Morocco shade that I used in my crease, the second color. And then this time I'm going to tilt my head down and look up. So that way I can just lightly buff that color underneath my lower lash line. And I kind of connect it upward. This low Cornell soft comfort chisel blender brush, number six which is a flat shader brush and I got this for like $2.99 at Joann's craft store and it's like really good quality. So I'm going to dip it into that fudge color that I use in my outer V. I'm going to look down and I'm going to just put it on my lower lash line lightly. I almost never put anything on sheer. I always put multiple layers, not necessarily to be thick and heavy or or full coverage, but just to get color payoff because I want color payoff. In order to get the intensity that I want, I have to build up the color by adding multiple layers. I'm going to take that same Morphe M139 brush no additional product and lightly buff and now at this point I'm gonna use my one of my favorite eyeliners it's called Puro Amor from Kat Von D I don't know if it's available anymore this was a smaller size I think she discontinued all of her liners and came out with like new ones so I'm gonna do the bottom first because it's just easier that way same way I do my shadow. By looking down. Then the top, tilt my head back and kind of look down. And this one's easier for me to just close my eyes. I'm going to use this NYC liquid eyeliner. It's like $3. It's really good. It has, you know, flexible hairs, which is what I prefer because I can maneuver it the way I want and I can easily flick the end to make a wing. But this one is not, it's not very tapered. It's not, it's just like a flat edge. I don't know how to describe it. But it works if I use it on its side. Same thing, tilt your head back, look down into a mirror. Holding your eyeliner to put it on, especially if it's like a brush like this, rest your pink in your cheek and do it fast. But it just depends. Now, to do the wing, gosh, I hope this comes out good. I'm going to start at the corner and just flick it up. And I'm going to put a lot of pressure, not a lot, but I'm going to put the most pressure at the beginning. And as I flick it up, I'm going to release that pressure. Tilting my head back and looking down, of course. Okay, that's good enough. And now I'm probably going to really need to hold my pinky. 
replace my finger. And then from here I'm just going to connect it upwards. And fill it in. And they don't always come out even. I'm the type of person that doesn't care as long as they're, they look presentable. But, like I won't go crazy. But as long as they look very, as long as they look similar, I'm happy. So now I'm going to use my Holy Grail Mascara, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is like, I love this mascara. I go to high-end mascaras and I always come back to this one. It's like $5. It's very thickening and volumizing, which is what I like. Now I'm going to do my bottom lashes first. And I kind of just like to wiggle it and build it and do like a thousand coats. I don't know why I always have to tilt my head down like this. I mean, I tilt it back. I mean, I tilt it down to do the bottom lashes anyway. But, like, I do, like, weird, like, side. I don't know. If you can hear my washer, sorry. It's, like, in the next room over. And I always like my mascara to look, I mean my lashes to look dramatic at all times. Even if I'm doing like a very bare face that day, I always want my eyelashes to look dramatic. I rarely wear false lashes, mainly because, I mean I have long lashes already, or medium to long, but I, I'm too lazy for that. Unless it's like a special occasion, then I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that's good enough for me. So now that my eyes are done, this is what they look like. So then I'm going to go in with my favorite moisturizer, which is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. That's what it looks like. Mine is Ginger 6. It's a very yellow tone. For reference, I'm NC42 with MAC. And I'm going to use a MAC 193 foundation brush, which is a flat angled foundation brush. So original, which I love for something sheer like this. So for every day, I like to use sheer products. Mainly because I don't like to hide my skin. I like to... And I like to glow. So I just put it on. The reason I really like this brush, this might be a tad bit light for me because I just went to the beach. This, the reason I like this brush is because the tip is flimsy. So I can kind of paint it and maneuver it. I love it. Let's get a little bit more. Put some on my forehead. And I do it pretty quickly because, I don't know, I just do. So I'm going to use my MAC brush, dip it in. I like to be generous, tap a little off. These MAC brushes, they shed so badly. I hate that. Now I just kind of press on my face. And I'm so like, when I do other people's makeup, I'm gentle. But when I do mine, I'm like, bam, bam, bam. Like, I, I just do so fast. So I press and then I go back and buff. Okay. 
Okay, that's what. That's what I. How I do my foundation. Every day. I'm gonna use the Morphe G8 brush, and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop bronzer in Poolside, which is has quickly become one of my holy girl holy grail bronzers, and it's only eight dollars. It's like a neutral bronzer, but on my skin it shows nice, shows up nice and neutral to warm kind of. And I kind of for this since it has a moussey texture. I just press this brush in to get my brush dirty, tap off a little bit like I always do, and I just stipple it on because, and I kind of smile to see my cheeks because I'm very cheeky, and I just, it helps me see where I want to put it. Now this bronzer is not like easy to apply because you have to like really get in there because of the texture. That oh, is killing me. So, I put the brush with a lot of pressure and I rub it. That's how I get enough product. For the nose, a little bit for the chin. I'm kind of work my way to the back. And I don't contour regularly. It's actually very rare that I contour. I'm just, I like it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I do like it though, because I have a, you know, very full face and I like to slim it down sometimes. I have chunky cheeks, which I love, but sometimes I like to slim it down, but it's so rare. I'm just so lazy for that. Okay. Okay, so that is good enough for now. I'm going to use the MAC 227 brush, which looks like that. Just press it. Max Warm Soul, which is like one of my favorite, if not my favorite, blush ever. It's a warm, rosy color, neutral. And I'm going to use a MAC 130 to apply it. So I like to be heavy handed with my blush because that's what I like. So I'm using this brush. It's a very glowy product. I like to smile because it helps me like and I do multiple layers because I love blush. When I worked at MAC, my friends would laugh at me because I would wear so much blush. It's just what I like. I'm very cheeky, what can I say? I'm gonna take a Morphe M501, the brush that everybody's loving. And the new Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator, which is a dupe for Max Whisper of Guilt. But I like this one more. I don't know, the texture is prettier, it's more pigmented. And highlight is like my favorite thing, so I like to go to town with highlight. Go to my cheekbones. And I like when it's really dramatic, so I layer and layer. I kind of just press and rub, but sometimes I blend back and forth. Down the bridge of my nose. Sometimes I'll just, I don't really like doing it on the tip like everyone does. I don't know why. I'm gonna use the NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner, which is a neutral pink. Okay. 
fill my lips like so. And then I'm going to use Velvet Teddy by MAC. MAC lipsticks are like my favorite lipsticks ever. This is just a neutral beige, beige color. Number four, Perfect Nude Lip Gloss. It's like a pinky nude. It's really pretty, but it's not pale. I hate those kind of colors. And I always like my neutrals to be creamy and glossy. And I prefer my matte lipsticks to be bold colors. Check my shadow. I not really touch it up. I'm going to... I'm going to use this color right here. It's called Peach Sorbet by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to use a MAC 228. And I'm going to just put it in the inner tear duct. This is such a pretty color. It's like a sunset peach yellow kind of color. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. Again. And this is the final look. And this is the final look. This is how I typically do my makeup for when I'm going out in the daytime. A bit dramatic for some people, but it's perfect for me. Thank you for watching.